Hello everybody, it's Matthew again, Pilates channel, uh, coming in with, uh, I believe it's episode 9 now, um, still having issues uploading my videos, so again, I kind of feel like uh, these things are actually going to go up simultaneously, and uh, a lot of folks that do actually watch these videos and enjoy them, uh, you won't have to be sitting, you know, waiting for days on end to, to see the next videos, to see the next round and next tournament matches. Um, I did get quite... Uh, a haul of uh, uh, new collectibles in today. Uh, I don't think I'm actually going to bring them up uh, in these specific videos. Um, obviously, the uh, butcher I brought up yesterday uh, in one of my videos, um, that was just one of the craziest box sets I'd seen, and I was absolutely amazed by it. Uh, definitely wanted to try and you know pass that along to you know some other folks, see if you guys could uh, kind of enjoy it the same way that I do. Uh, I was kind of going through my list. Um, I've noticed I did miss actually a couple figures. Uh, some of them I do have kind of displayed on uh, the uh, four left 3D creation stands from uh, David Garland. So uh, I did bypass them at some point during the uh, previous videos. So I am going to backtrack a little bit with a couple different series figures here. And so I do have a Jimmy Hart Series 3 figure. And this one's actually going up against a Elizabeth Series 4. Now, Jimmy Hart. I mean, I absolutely love the, the little horn here he's got here. Um, great figure, good good manager. Um, I don't know if I would actually ever use Jimmy Hart as a uh, wrestler, even if I did kind of enjoy his pose. Uh, again, he, he has an adequate but not great body slam pose and um there's not really much to say about this figure i mean he doesn't have the hearts on his microphone uh, yeah so this is the non-hearted uh microphone figure and i thought i had duplicates but i don't think so uh, this one is going against the uh, miss elizabeth figure very plain uh very simple figure um I know Miss Elizabeth, for many boys my age, you know, was definitely probably the first person that we ever fell in love with. Uh, you know, absolutely gorgeous woman. Uh, loved her in the corner of Macho Man and Hulk Hogan. Um, I do have a little custom uh, skirt on here, unfortunately. Uh, if you do want to put, you know, kilts and skirts and, you know, get hats and, you know, two by fours, things like that, you're probably going to have to go the custom route, unfortunately, because... Uh, Price-wise, on originals are just uh, ridiculous. Uh, great figure. Um, to me, it's more of a Barbie figure than anything. Uh, I guess because of that reason, uh, it's not something that you know I would get much enjoyment out of, uh, other than display and being able to say I have the complete collection. Uh, this one's a no-brainer. Uh, Jimmy Hart will definitely move on. Uh, the next. Uh, matchup of uh, figures that I skipped over uh, was Series 4 Jake the Snake Roberts I did mention uh, 3, 4, or 4 Left Creations uh, with David Garland again, custom uh, Jake the Snake stands, absolutely love these and uh, just kind of going through my past videos I kind of find it interesting <laughs> um, I seem to be hyping quite a few different uh, stores and uh you know, as I mentioned about, you know, loving these shops and wanting to, you know, let you know, since I don't really have too many backstories uh, regarding history of figures or, or characters, you know, I guess a lot of time uh, I've been probably going over just some of the different uh, businesses I shop with, you know, maybe, you know, give some other people some heads up as uh, some great deals out there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep going that route uh, now that I'm more, you know, that I see that I'm doing it, but... I probably will. Just, again, give my props to the people who, who really deserve it. Um, again, Jake the Snake Roberts. A little bit small. Uh, a little bit thin. Uh, overall, not a terrible figure. I wish I had the snake. I do not. Uh, Damien is not part of my Jake the Snake collection. And, um, hands up. Uh, not like, you know, Macho Man, hands up, over the head, Ken Patera type of figure. Uh, it's still... In between kind of like Big John Stud and, and Macho Man, for example. So a little bit of a hybrid there. Not quite as out 
as Big John Stud, but not quite as close as Macho Man either. Uh, Pose-wise, as far as wrestling, you know, you really got not no more than a slap here. Uh, kind, of, kind of pretend you're throwing a punch. You could do a clothesline. Uh, you, ha you do have uh, a pretty average, I would say, uh, body slam pose, as you can see. Uh, not super spectacular, but again, definitely not one of the worst. And as far as play, um, pose-wise, probably maybe in the top 20 list uh, as far as poses are concerned. Um, he is actually going against one of my favorite uh, figures here. Mostly because it does have the David Garland uh, hacksaw stand, which is absolutely perfect. And this hacksaw might actually be my, my absolute favorite stand from David Garland. Uh, throw a championship belt on him. Um, again, I don't think he was ever a champion, not, not to my knowledge. Uh, it's got a beautiful 2x4. I believe that one came from uh, Etsy, um, from my favorite shop, XOX Customs, the Random Treasures. And just a fantastic figure. I, mean, I actually really love this one. I don't think he'll be passing uh, Jake the Snake in this round. Uh, for the simple fact that Roberts does have a much better uh, pose as far as fighting and playability than Duggan does. But, I mean, there's just no doubt about it. Jim Duggan is 100% a better figure overall. But because of the play, uh, the pose-wise, fighting pose, uh, Jake the Snake does defeat Hacksaw Jim Duggan and move forward. Uh, next round, we're looking at uh, the black cards. I already have pushed a couple Andre the Giants through. Uh, this one uh, came from my buddy Eric. It actually looked like a, like a random customs um, figure, but it's not. Uh, I did put a little championship belt. Fortunately, he's much too big to wrap around the waist. I hate wearing these things around the arms. It just kind of bothers me, especially with some of the uh, figures that arms are down or to the side or outward, like kind of like Tito Santana, for example. Where, you know, they just fall off. Now, because of his pose, this actually works beautifully. Same thing with uh, Axe and Smash. You know, Ventura. You know, one of those type of figures. Um, not much I can really say about this figure that I haven't said about the other two. Uh, this is probably easily the best Andre of the three. This is the Andre that I know of. You know, I don't, I'm not too familiar with him as far as wearing uh, blue trunks. You know, I, I watched some old videos, seen him in the red trunks, and he looks pretty good. But this is the Andre that I absolutely know and love. And unfortunately, uh, unlike the first, you know, few rounds or first, uh, I guess, first couple shelves I've gone through, I, I really can't mix and match uh, in this particular case because we, the Black Card series, they're all really fantastic. So it really isn't nowhere where you can match up that's going to push someone to the next round that you really want to continue on. And with all the customs coming up, you know, I just felt it would just be wise to uh, keep going in order. He is going against the Big Boss Man, which does have an absolutely gorgeous pose. Another XOX Customs uh, figure. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Fantastic nightstick. Perfect shape. Uh, just, I mean, look at the detail of that figure. Just absolutely amazing. Definitely uh, one of the greatest LJN figures Appearance-wise, I would say a top 10 maybe. So, because I've already pushed two Andres through, I'm not going to be able to go 3-for-3. Three three. This is just too great of a figure. Uh, Big Boss Man does push forward. Uh, so we do have one of, if not the worst figure, uh, wrestling pose wise in the history of any type of toy line whatsoever now again as a statue or you know simply a display piece I, I, I repeatedly mentioned it I mean I love all the LJNs even the terrible pose of Rick Rude but we're not talking about you know something you want to just simply display you, you are looking at these from from a child's point of view and for for playability and he just doesn't have it you know, he's right up there with Ron Simmons as far as having the worst figures of all time. And uh, I did get one of the set, one set of the first customs I ever bought from my buddy Eric was the Ravishing Rick Rude 
uh, custom figure. I think what they did was take a uh, Paul Orndorff. Orndorff. I don't know why I can't pronounce his name whatsoever. But this is definitely the Ravishing Rick Rude that LJN should have made. This is an absolutely perfect, perfect figure. Uh, championship belts. I mean, the, the face, that's definitely Rick Rude. And, of course, Rick Rude, we've seen him do his little dance in the ring and whatnot. Uh, he is definitely uh, much more believable with that body type uh, than the guy that this was molded after. So, I mean, there's really not much to say. Um, you got this fantastic figure against <laughs> a laughable one. x Customs did a fantastic job molding this after the original. But wrestling writers, Ravishing Rick Rude, will push forward. Another one coming over here from uh, x Customs. Both figure and belt. Uh, the Ultimate Warrior. A lot of people hate on this, but I actually like the coloring of this figure, and I think it's it's beautiful. Um, I actually he doesn't have a bad pose at all. Uh, good wrestling pose for clotheslines. Uh, decent, I would say, as far as uh, wanting to do a body slam. Um, let's see. So coming from the bottom, right arm under, great body slam pose. Even from uh, left arm under. Does bring up about halfway, so uh, it does again have a really good pose there. I mean, look at the detail in these boots. I mean, that is absolutely gorgeous. Now, it might be a little bit too dark down here for for viewers to see. And I'm kind of in awe with uh, different, uh, you know, different content makers here on YouTube. Um, I definitely have a lot of respect for them. Uh, it always seems like they're like always so professional with the way they they set up, you know, all these extra lights, you know, high quality cameras, you know, little desks to work at and everything. I'm like, wow, you guys really go all out with these videos. Uh, me, I'm just kind of like just messing around, having some fun, uh, just talking about some uh, figures, why I enjoy them. Uh, but just kind of saying that, you know, it definitely uh, have an appreciation for the, the efforts and work that those guys go through. Um, if I do make this like a, a long-term goal, something that I want, I want to do on a regular basis, I will definitely be upgrading and uh, not so much staying down here in the basement. Well, you call it the basement, you call it the, I don't know, man cave, toy room, whatever. I kind of consider it like a, another media room because I do have a ton of uh, movies and, uh, you know, TV shows over here. Uh, on the opposite side of the the room, um, got a got a few pieces of workout equipment. I uh, got this workbench that I'm working on right here, and um, a lot of the stuff that I'm selling on eBay. So quite a few boxes are just kind of stacked right there, uh, just waiting to sell to to ship them out. And uh, got some uh, new sh new storage containers coming in. So building some more shelves, trying to get my displays uh, out there. Um, in the current, I'm in the process of kind of acquiring a lot of uh, Jack's uh, classic superstars. Um, I think I mentioned it uh, a couple times on here already. Not a huge fan of Jack's, you know, Jack's, Mattel, any of those figures. I just think they're absolutely horrific. So this is actually a, a, an original San Francisco Toymaker figure. Um, I did get uh, another uh, actual ring set in, and this figure is actually part of it. Uh, this is uh, one I had previously, so it's not the same one. I didn't break open the box or anything. So, of course, you know, what does Jax, Mattel, what do these new, you know, companies, what do they brag about? You know, they brag about movable arms, you know, poseable limbs and, and joints, and, and I, I just absolutely hate these figures. Uh, I just think they're so stupid. You know, Hasbro's, you got the joints, they go up and down, that's good. You know, Hogan, his arms go, you know, his Series 2 Hogan obviously moves up. But these things right here, the way that they kind of like shift around like that, it bothers me. It's horrible. Uh, the Jax Classic Superstars, I bought them. Uh, I bought one just because I really liked uh, the characters inside. Uh, I think it was a King Kong Bundy uh, figure. Uh, yep, there it is right over my head. It was a King Kong Bundy. I even, uh, who was that? Nikolai Volkov, Bundy, and Iron Sheik. That's up there. 
and I decided to get another few tag teams. Uh, I got the Heart Foundation, for example. Got some uh, diff other ones as well, kind of mixed mixed characters. So I actually really like the box sets themselves. Um, I probably bought maybe two dozen or so in the last couple weeks. Um, so yeah, I probably shut out a couple grand doing so. Um, not just the classic superstars, of course. Uh, I'm trying to get several different toy lines uh, all simultaneously, I'm trying to build up the collections as quickly as I can. Uh, that way I have some uh, additional content to actually give you guys to talk about. Uh, generally, as I mentioned, Hasbro fan, uh, really love LJNs now. I think they are might even be better than Hasbro, but because of the history, I kind of put them as 1A, 1B. I, I, it's really hard for me to, to choose a favorite. Uh, Galoob's always been there because, you know, they were right there with Hasbro's. I uh, had a bunch of those as a kid. Uh, I'm nearly complete with that collection, uh, just waiting for uh, some of the figures to come in from the UK. I uh, get some of the UK exclusive figures. Uh, Jack specific, uh, what else they come in? Um, man, drawing a blank. But yes, um, I am building quite a few different, uh, uh, different, uh, different toy lines, and I will probably go over them uh, at some point, making a video with kind of like some new purchases. I don't know what I want to do uh, if I want to continue on for for another video tonight, which I probably will. Um, yeah, I, I think we should do at least one more video tonight. Uh, that way we can knock out the rest of the black cards, get it some of the XOX customs uh, brought over, and uh, then we can start digging into you know some of the excess. Uh, the last remaining figures, they're all customs, um, either rubber or resin figures. And once that's complete, hopefully in the next day or two, we'll be able to start uh, doing some final eliminations moved around too. Uh, just want to thank everyone for kind of staying in with me, and uh, I'll talk to you all soon. Good night now.